Hello, JD from One Step Tribe. Another beautiful morning here in Miami. Today we're going to be reviewing the Boeing 737 Classic and NG QRH. All right? And how to use the QRH. Normally they should teach you this in ground school, but lately we've been having, you know, a little bit of a problem in, you know, how to use the QRH. How to find out the abnormals or emergency checklist. All right? So, Let's go over just a little bit and quick, all right? So normally the QRH, remember the first page of the QRH, the first page of the QRH, this is gonna be all your memory items. When you see them like this with the bold letters in black, okay, all these titles in black with the bold letters, this is all your memory items. Now, is this is always true? No, not really, all right? Some of, some of these are not memory items. So your question will be, so how, how do we know that it's a memory item? All right, okay, that's why I'm here. Let me show you how to find out which of these here are memory items. Okay, let's go for an example. Let's go to an abort engine start, 7.1. If you go to 7.1 in the key array for an abort engine start, you're gonna see here that we're gonna have dash lines, okay? We're gonna have dash lines. All these dash lines here, the dash line, anything about the dash lines, that means that's a memory item. So only the numbers, okay? The memory items are the number. Anything about the dash lines, any number about the dash line, that means it's a memory item. Now, when you go through the memory item, or when you study for your oral, for initial recurrent training, remember, you don't need to memorize the objects or the conditions, okay? The object and the condition, you're gonna go over that. Once you go through the memory item, the second time, when the captain of FO asks you for the checklist, now we're going to go through the entire checklist, including the objects and condition. Why? Because this is going to help us in how to understand what type of problem do we have at the time. All right? So, when they ask you for your memory items on your initial or recurrent training, remember all you need to memorize is the number. You don't need to memorize the object or the conditions, all right? Just the number that is above the dash line. That's how you know when it's a memory item. If you don't have the dash line, that means it's not a memory item, all right? Good. Now, what about the blocks? How do we know when the checklist is done? That's another thing. That's another mistake that we've been looking in the simulators, all right, lately. So... How do we know that the checklist is done? Well, you're gonna have these black blocks up here, okay? These blocks over here, that means once you reach those blocks, the checklist is done. Finito, se acabó, all right? So once you reach the blocks, that means the checklist is done. Now you have to be careful because before that, a lot of times they're gonna ask you questions to see if the checklist is gonna continue, all right? Or if the checklist is done. But anyway, once you reach those black blocks, the blocks over here, that means the checklist is done. All right, now, what about the evacuation checklist? Very important checklist, why? Because remember, every time you come down for recurring or initial, how are you gonna finish your PC or your check ride? Going through what? Through an evacuation. So normally they're gonna throw you an evacuation, engine fire, the nose landing gear claps, and you're gonna go, you're gonna have to go through the whole evacuation checklist. And the fastest way, remember, in back of the QRH, this is this is where you're gonna find your evacuation checklist. All right, it's always in back of the QRH. All right. So I hope you enjoy the video. Okay, we're gonna go a little bit more in detail in the use of the QRH later on in one of our training videos. Visit our website, onestepprep.com. Joe and I, the JJ team, we always here to help you as much as we can. Remember, we have more than 15 hour training video for the Boeing 737 Classic, for the Boeing 737 AG, for the A320 and CRJ. We go through the whole thing, pre-orals, FMS, loading, ILSs, non-precision approaches, okay, MCP, FCU for the airbus. We go through the whole thing, steep turns, stall, circling to land. All these training videos, you can get them at any time. All you have to do is just visit our website, onestepprep.com. And if you come down for your recurring training down here in Miami or your initial course, 
or cake, come by our office. We are located here across the street from IHUB, all right, close to Pan Am uh, Training Academy and in between Airbus and Boeing. So just give us a call or visit our website, onestepprep.com. We are here to help you as much as we can. And in 2019, we're gonna come out with something very, very, very special. Airlines, and especially you guys, gonna love it. But you're gonna have to wait. Love you guys, and I hope you enjoy. See you.